Hi, and welcome back to the World Cancer Day Live program. We started the day in New Zealand, we moved to Malaysia, then to the Philippines, and now we're going to make a jump to another continent. We're going to Africa, specifically to Morocco. And it is my pleasure to introduce you and to welcome Bahija. Hello, Bahija. Hello. Hi. Good morning, Janine. Thank you for having me. So let me introduce Bahija. Uh, Bahija is president and founder of AMAL, an association dedicated to support cancer, uh, to support patients living with leukemia. She is also a university teacher, an author, and she's a mom with three kids. So Bahija, um, can you tell us a little bit about your association, AMAL, and why you brought it to life and what you're trying to achieve with it? Thank you very much, uh, Janine. Uh, actually, Amal is a story of hope because Amal means literally hope in Arabic language. Amal, Amal is also my story because in 2002, I was pregnant uh, of my third child with, when I discovered that I had blood cancer, leukemia. And 20 years ago, treatment was not available in Morocco. No leukemia patient group created yet, and psychological support was far away to be a priority in the treatment uh, process. In the meantime, I had to travel far to see my uh, hematologist and bring my medicine. Uh, I was also working, which allowed me to, to, to cover transportation fees and my health insurance. But this made me uh, think about other patients who are illiterate, uh, in need, uh, without uh, any health insurance, and living in rural areas. So uh, I felt the responsibility to help and serve them. And all these reasons were motivating me to uh, get involved in patient support and advocacy and create AMAL. Uh, and I believe that AMAL could provide assistance to patients and family uh, and uh, improve access to proper treatment uh, and correct monitoring to all patients in Morocco. And these actions uh, will help raise awareness. We need uh, uh, to, to raise awareness and prevention and education to fight uh, cancer stigma and improve uh, policies and decisions in favor of cancer patients in Morocco. Thank you so much for sharing your inspiring story with us, Bahija. So, it, you know, you experienced um, barriers to cancer care firsthand. Can you tell us, uh, in your view, what the biggest challenge is in addressing cancer inequities in Morocco? In fact, in Morocco, many things have improved in the last 20 years, but we've, we still face uh, challenges. And I think the first challenge remains access. I believe no cancer patient deserves to die due to the lack of cancer. We still need equal access because without access, nothing else uh, matters. And the second challenge is centralization of care and long uh, waiting list to, to have an appointment. People uh, have to travel far to get help, see their doctors and bring their medication and do their examination, tests or chemotherapy. And most often those uh, patients are the poor ones. And another uh, challenge, the third one, is lack of collaboration and support from government to patients' organization, uh, to patients and families. For example, in our hospital, we need a, a, a dedicated space to, uh, to, to patients and families to discuss and assemble, to uh, organize maybe even, to support each other, share their stories, and so on. I believe that no one should face cancer alone. And psychological support is what patients are looking for when they first know about their cancers. You know, this is the first year of the World Cancer Day Close the Care Gap campaign, and you addressed some of these barriers, these gaps that people experience in um, getting access to cancer care. Now, how, how are you going to celebrate today's World Cancer Day? Janine, before talking about celebration, uh, I want to share this good news with you. Our main project in Morocco is building a patient home called Dar Al Amal in Arabic, which means home of hope. Uh, and this home will be uh, uh, for 30 patients and parents. 
and we already fundraised and bought the land and we we, we built the, the 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 patient's home and now we are finishing the construction and we hope to inaugurate it very soon uh, we will certainly provide accommodation food psychological support and transportation from and to uh, to the hospital and the patient's home is very important because cancer patients often discontinue their treatment because they can't afford trans transit fees uh, pay hotel for example and other expenses uh, this project certainly will reduce the financial burden of cancer and help patients and parents to overcome uh, cancer together. They can, for example, cook and eat together. They can support each other, do activities, share stories, uh, build, uh, build uh, friendish, friendships and learn from each journey. I'm, I'm really confident that this patient's home will play a big role in patient well-being and recovery. And uh, regarding to, to your question about celebrating World Cancer Day, we are organizing a social media campaign about our patient home. We produced a video about the role and the importance uh, of this structure in allowing patients and parents living far from the hospital to be treated with dignity. And we also produced uh, a poster about equity in treating cancer that we already shared on our social uh, uh, media platforms. And we, we, we were also published in uh, national newspaper uh, articles. We're certainly looking forward to seeing how it progresses, this house of hope, and we're gonna continue to follow your story, Bahija. It's very inspiring. And so we're, we're really looking forward to that. Now, can you tell us why World Cancer Day is important to you personally? Personally, World Cancer Day is important to continue to raise awareness about equity issues in cancer uh, through uh, engaging discussions and educational materials and resources be, with health insurance, uh, physician, uh, medical authorities, patients, patient advocates, and all stakeholders, and try, try seriously to find sustainable solutions. I think World Cancer Day is also a good opportunity to, 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 to remember us that we should continue fighting to make this world better to cancer patients. We should stay certainly committed to our vision, to our goals, and to patients' need. And of course, uh, get involved and uh, uh, inspired of the practices of uh, developed countries and adapt them to the Moroccan uh, contest. I think World Cancer Day is also a good opportunity to share best practices and learn from other patients' organizations in order to make meaningful and positive change in cancer patients' lives. And what would, you, what would you say are your hopes for the future for cancer care in Morocco? I think my hope is to improve access to care and treatment to all patients in Morocco. I also aspire to, to award free of inequities in treating cancer. Wherever you, you live, whatever is your gender, your salary or your age, you deserve to be treated with dignity. Thank you very much, Pahija, for your words of hope and of encouragement. And thank you for sharing your beautiful story with us and our viewers and the, the World Cancer Day community in general. Uh, you're definitely a source of inspiration for, for everyone, for all of us. So thank you so much. And um, I'm sure we'll see each other very soon again. Thank you very much. And I hope successful and productive event to all patients uh, organization around the world in this occasion of the World Cancer Day. Thank you very much, Janine. Shukran. Shukran.